I welcome you all on this YouTube platform where we in today's video are going to move forward with the research aptitude and the topics which are related to that right so what are we going to discuss in today's video we are going to talk about the two major research paradigms which are known as positivism and post positivism so what is basically a paradigm what is a research paradigm? A research paradigm is something, if we try to talk about it, it is a kind of a lens. It's kind of a roadmap that is required by a person that through which, if I'm trying to talk about it in the sense of a lens, uh, let's just imagine that you guys are here and two of you are wearing the glasses in green color and two of you are wearing the lenses with blue color, right? The glares, the shades, whatever you want to call it, right? And the way you are going to view the world is different from how you do view it in reality, correct? So you change your point of view. Research paradigms जो होते हैं वो lenses की तरह ही काम करते हैं because the way you think according choosing choosing one paradigm over the other you move forward and you know about it and you start thinking in that particular sense आगे चल के more videos में rationalism and other things etc the other paradigms we also will be discussing same is the case with Positivism and post-positivism. Now, one thing which is important when we are concerned with positivism and post-positivism is that we need to understand the bit of history which is required here. So, पहले क्या होता था पुराने times में अगर हम लोग देखें कि ये positivism, post-positivism, time and again have been asked in the net examination. But what is that? already told you that it's part of a research paradigm so to say moving forward if we try to trace the history of positivism and post positivism post positivism to naam hi apne aap mein suggest kar raha hai ki wo positivism ke baad aaya hai because the word post means after correct so first of all we had theology in the greater and later and ancient times you would have heard that purane time pe log kehte the ki aaj barish nahi ho rahi hai kitne time se barish nahi ho rahi hai must be that lord indra is not happy with us that's why thing you know it's, it's not even raining and all moving forward theology ke baad theology mein people were just and just believing in their religion कुछ भी होता था तो उसको कहते थे कि भगवान की वजह से हो रहा है भगवान हैप्पी है अनहैप्पी है थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दैट देन के मेटाफिजिक्स राइट इन मेटाफिजिक्स वॉट हैपेंड वॉज दैट पीपल नाउ स्टार्टेड पुटिंग सम टाइप ऑफ कॉमन सेंस राइट दे डिड बिलीव इन सर्टेन यू नो आस्पेक्ट ऑफ थियोलॉजी बट दे स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग मच एंड मोर विद द कॉमन सेंस सो टू से सो अगर बारिश होने वाली है you would have felt in the months of June or July. आप देखते हो कि ह्यूमिड एनवायरनमेंट हो जाता है मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स एंड देन यू गेन सम काइंड ऑफ कॉमन सेंस फ्रॉम दैट दैट मे बी टुडे इज गोना रेन दैट इज व्हाट इज मेटाफिजिक्स दैट इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ मेटाफिजिक्स अब मेटाफिजिक्स के बाद सम पीपल केम बिकॉज़ देयर वर मेनी टेक्नोलॉजीज एटसेट्रा व्हिच वर डेवलपिंग इन द वर्ल्ड तो लोग क्या कर रहे थे नाउ दे वर नाउ मूविंग विद मच एंड मोर साइंटिफिक काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग which brings us to a new type of paradigm here which came later on to be known as positivism theek hai ab jo positivists the they were the people who much and more believed in science only they were like it's all right we are getting your point you are saying something but we want you all to prove it scientifically whenever we will be talking about science and its usage in research aptitude you guys will see that with science logic and rational thinking would come perpetually correct so here these people were like all right we will make sure that we get your point but we need your point to be proven given the scientific evidence right then came post positivists 
these were the people now and this particular thing was a reaction to positivism it is not against positivism i tell you these people now started saying that okay we are going to prove things through science but you should also understand that sometimes along with science the logic or common sense also works logic or common sense also works so this is the way positivism and post positivism came into the picture now let's just see what is the differentiation between the two kyunki inme se questions aate hain net ke examination mein first of all because positivism came earlier we are going to discuss about the tenets of positivism it is based on the study of facts i already told you in the beginning here only in the previous slide that positivists jo hote the they were the people who were saying that we are going to believe you make it proven through the usage of science through the usage of the scientific reasoning right so the, whatever facts you are going to collect you are going to use them to support your argument and positivist ka matlab yahi tha ki hame factual information do hame aap log apni life mein whatever you are facing whatever emotional states you are going through whatever common sense through your sensory organs you are getting we do not need anything like that but we do need scientific backing up gathering of physical evidence and then backing it up with facts as i told you scientific view of the natural world whatever happens in uh, the nature whatever happens in our surroundings is something which is backed up by science theek hai baad mein kuch na kuch cheeze hoti hain barish ki baat kar rahi thi in the beginning i told you but there is some sort of phenomena also which goes on in the nature which later on was thought of and explored discovered by the scientists the people the thinkers etc so these people were thinking like that revealed by careful study and observation whatever things you observe if you observe them much and more carefully only then you will be able to reveal the you know facts behind it reveal the reasons and science behind it correct we'll look at an example here if you try to see example one i have provided here that a cat crossing a road gives you bad luck this is a thing that people think of as a common sense or a superstition in some aspects in some parts of the world i would say right they say ki kali billi ne agar rasta cut kar diya hai iska matlab bad luck aayega correct so yahan pe whatever we are gaining is common sense knowledge positivists on the other hand are saying my favorite example again here gravity the usage of apple falling from the tree here this thing was something which was first of all observed by isaac newton and then after the careful observation gaining some factual information backing your evidence theek hai uske hisab se he created the theory of gravity hmm? proven repeatedly आज के टाइम पे भी वट एवर वी वॉन्ट टू डू हम लोग उस चीज को आज भी ट्राई एंड टेस्ट करके देख सकते हैं दिस इज वॉट द पॉजिटिव इज आर सेंग दट इफ देर इज अ फिनोमिना विच इज एस्टेब्लिश ऑलरेडी देर इज वन सिंगल ट्रूथ ओनली विच विल बी लीडिंग ईच एंड एवरी थिंग अब इस एग्जाम्पल में वन सिंगल ट्रूथ वॉट इज दैट इट इज अ थियोरी ऑफ ग्रेविटी दैट ग्रेविटी डज एग्जिस्ट there is no other scientific backing to some other phenomena also happening maybe in the future that could happen but right now even if we try to test that gravitational pull we can do that repeatedly we can do that with different and multiple objects right so this particular paradigm the main believer were auguste comte it is a philosophy that believes in scientific method to acquire knowledge kuch bhi hai science mein kya aa jata hai facts aa jate hain whatever you are going to get through science is through the factual information right that i have tried to provide you with an example other things that are important they only believe that there is one fixed agreed upon reality like the theory of gravity all of the people in this world they do after Newton of course he gave this theory they started believing in that theory so they say there is only one answer to a problem that is backed up by science har cheez ka ek na ek answer hota hi hai this is what they say that is the universal truth correct singular universal truth reality can be quantified now whenever i am using certain terms here that i have boldened here that are important from the examination point of view why because of the fact 
that these things because you are observing things you are collecting facts if you are observing and you are collecting facts you are jotting certain things down in the form of stats and all that thing would be classified as being quantifiable right quantify numerical terms mein aap usko gin pa rahe ho theek hai yahan pe wahi cheez hai because the observations that you are making might be using some formulas etc researcher here should be detached and objective he will not ever ever never ever let his or her opinion come and overshadow the research so here the researcher needs to take a back foot and move forward with his research with no biasness at hand correct so the examples are sir isaac newton ki theory i already gave you we also can test certain hum log ko school mein alag alag there are books even in the market available now on you know different platforms of different different websites as well so if you know that there is only one pythagoras theorem that exists right if i want to solve one sum the student other student wants to solve some other equation the formula that is going to be used for the pythagoras theorem it's going to be you know remain the same so that is one such thing where these people are saying ki ek hi sachai hai which is universal for each and every person like if there is one pythagoras theorem that is only there to solve such equations which are related to that formula correct then we have post positivism now post positivism as i told you it was not anti positivism it was not against positivism but it was somewhere or the other rejecting the ideas which were there they were saying it's okay hum log science or common sense dono ko saath mein leke chalte hain it was not the rejection already told you the world is knowable or unknowable we do not know the positivists have already said that there is one single knowable truth that is universal for all but the post positivists are saying that is all right but we might be the ones who are gaining some new phenomena new scientific discovery of the same phenomena differently in the upcoming times you never know of that right so moving forward the other characteristics are post positivism says that the world is complex and open to interpretation you can interpret anything if i pick up a paper right now and draw a b on it right if i draw a b on it and you are standing if even i am standing in front of a mirror that b would appear to me as alphabet d right so if let's just say open to interpretation here subjectivity is coming you can as a researcher be involved in a post positivist approach because your reality is ambiguous you are not sure that only one reality exists there are multiple realities which are existing for that matter you never know of that right subjectivity ka matlab hai descriptive you can have your own point of view the other person of if i ask the one question to the other person as well he or she might have their other point of views as well right so ambiguousness is also there along with the subjectivity i can express myself as a researcher here i can also let my point of views come here right here the methods if the methods are subjective they of course are going to be qualitative because here i'm going to express here i'm going to describe and anything which is descriptive in its nature would be qualitative kuch bhi numerical hai quantifiable hai that is quantitative anything which is descriptive explanatory subjective in nature would be qualitative so hence there is a difference between both these two approaches correct the example here is let's just look at this picture where the teacher is scolding the child to ask and asking ki han ji why are you late in the class each and every day so one day he is late there must be some other reason the second day he says no i was not late papa made me late etc late uthe ye wo etc if there is a group of five students who are late comers as well if i ask the questions to all of you even who you are watching the videos agar main aap log se bhi kuch sawal puchu you guys that would be an opinion based question to aap log ka har ek ka opinion might vary from each other this is what the positivists are saying that it's all right we will back it up we because we do not know if the world exists after and beyond this particular realm aur ek example dete hain you guys would have watched the movie koi mil gaya i think where we see jadu right the alien now any one of you would not have really seen an alien but through the human limitation the human limited mind we have created an image of an alien in our mind 
correct we have created that that it also has two hands two legs but there are three eyes but just imagine the body is created like a human only next example avatar movie dekhi hogi usme whatever are the physical attributes of the avatars there they are somewhere or the other similar to humans only what if i say that if eventually the scientists do explore the aliens in the upcoming times and they are not like the ones that we have seen in jadoo we have seen in benten for that matter hai na aur wo alag hi hote hain they are round in shape they are triangular they do not have eyes but they do have ears and all right so you never know the ambiguousness here the plurality here is being celebrated by the post positivists wo keh rahe hain ki hum world ko jante hain nahi bhi jante we do not know about it so we cannot agree upon one single reality but we see that there are multiple realities which might be existing and that multiple reality might be changing agar main abhi aapko ek word deti hu power if i ask you about the meaning of this word any one of you and many of you i would say would be saying spiritual power material power राइट right? हमारे देखने वाली पावर वट एवर काइंड ऑफ पावर यू कैन गो एंड यू नो आउट एंड बियॉन्ड विद दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग और डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दैट इज वॉट द पोस्ट पॉजिटिव कि हर एक इंसान के लिए अलग चीज का एक ही वर्ड का अलग मीनिंग हो सकता है दैट इज वाई इट इज ओपन टू इंटरप्रिटेशन दैट इज वाई इट इज सब्जेक्टिव राइट सो दिस इज वॉट द पोस्ट पॉजिटिव इज डू बिलीव इन सो पॉजिटिविज्म में क्वांटिटेटिव मेथड्स लगते हैं यू ऑब्जर्व यू ऑब्जर्व द थिंग्स यू क्वांटिफाई यू जस्टिफाई देम विद फैक्ट्स हियर इन पोस्ट पॉजिटिविज्म वी यूज क्वालिटेटिव मेथड्स दैट कुड बी डिस्क्रिप्टिव दैट कुड बी सब्जेक्टिव तो यहीं से हमें एक पॉइंट मिल जाता है अगर क्वांटिटेटिव है देन इट वुड बी ऑब्जेक्टिव इफ क्वालिटेटिव इट वुड बी इट वुड बी सब्जेक्टिव हियर वी आर सेइंग दैट डेफिनेटली एंड सर्टनली ओनली वन ट्रूथ एग्जिस्ट दिस in post positive say that it can or it cannot exist scientific hoti hai yahan pe approach because they believe in science more major majority ke basis pe and these people in post positivism they say we might discover something we might discover something here the reality is one reality is objective their reality could be questioned what if the new thing that comes up in the future is not the same as we imagined it to be remember the example of jadoo again probability sampling technique which means that random samples are chosen here for this particular purpose because the researcher wants to be unbiased here i can choose a sample based on my preferences hence it's non probability non random which means according to my own perception according to my own choices this one is structure and control because you are going to conduct an experiment because scientific hota hai positivist approach right so you will make frame the questions what are you going to ask the people and all here you would have framed the questions but you can go in digger dig in deeper details and all delve in deeper conversations deeper information so on and so forth so i hope you like this particular concept where i have tried to make things easier for you to break it down into bits and pieces when we are concerned with positivism and post positivism i will for sure see you again in some uh, you know next video thank you so much and have a good day bye bye